Good morning, students. Uh, today we will be seeing the further journal entries. Now let's see the journal entries related to interest on drawing. When a partner withdraws the amount out of profit for his personal use, then it is considered as drawings. Interest is charged on drawings by the firm. Interest on drawing is a profit for the firm. That is why it is credited partner's capital or current account debit to interest on drawings account. Then interest on drawings will be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account. So interest on drawings account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. You can make a single journal entry also partner's capital or current account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. Partner's current accounts are used when the capitals are maintained following fixed capital method. While calculating interest on drawings, there are certain points which are to be kept in mind. When a partner withdrew the fixed amount on a regular interval, then interest on drawing is calculated on the basis of average month. Interest on drawing is calculated as total drawings into rate upon 100 into average months divided by 12. Average months will be calculated as time left after first drawing plus time left after last drawing divided by Suppose a partner has withdrawn rupees 1000 rupees at the beginning of each month. It means when he will be drawing for the very first time in April, 12 months will be left. And the last drawing he will make on 1st March, it means after the last drawing only one month will remain. It means 12 plus 1, 13 divided by 2, 6.5. So this 6.5 will be the average month. When a partner withdrew the unequal amount on different dates, then interest is calculated by product method. Under product method, the product is calculated first of all, then total of the product is multiplied by rate of interest or rate upon 100 and 1 by 12. Total product is calculated as drawings is multiplied by the months till the year ending. I mean, suppose if a person has withdrawn rupees 2000 okay, on 1st January, then January, February, March, 3 months will remain. So, 6000 will be the product of that particular drawing. When the date of the drawings are given, the interest is to be charged at an agreed rate per annum. Interest is calculated on the basis of time. If the date of the withdrawal is not given, the interest on drawing is calculated only for a period of 6 months. If you are given that a partner has withdrawn 10,000 but when he has withdrawn the money, this information is not given, then the interest is charged only for a period of 6 months on an average basis. When the rate of interest is given without the word per annum, Interest is to be charged for the whole year. Let's see we are given here one question. That is A and B are the partners sharing profits equally. During the year A withdrew rupees 5000 and B withdrew rupees 3000 for personal use. Interest on drawing is charged at the rate of 6% per annum. Pass the journal entries for the interest on drawing. The two journal entries are passed here. The first one is A's capital account debit, B's capital account debit to interest on drawings and then interest on drawings account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. We are given here that A's drawing is rupees 5000 and 6% interest is charged. If you calculate 6% of 5000 rupees, it is 300 rupees. But we are not given here the date. It means we will have to charge interest only for a period of 6 months. It means half year. So 300 will be divided by 2 and it will be 150 rupees. Likewise, for B, B has withdrawn rupees 3000 and 6% of 3000 is rupees 180. We have to charge interest only for a period of 6 months. So 90 rupees will be charged. Now here, the total amount will be 240 which will be transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account. 
Let's say we are given here that Anu and Bali are the partners in a firm on 1st October 2019. Anu withdrew Rs. 6,000 and Bali withdrew Rs. 2,000 for personal use. Interest on drawing is charged at the rate of 8% per annum. Pass the journal entries for interest on drawing. Anu has withdrawn on 1st October, it means for a period of 6 months. He withdrew Rs. 6,000. 6000 is multiplied by 8 upon 100 so it will be 480 rupees but we have withdrawn the money on 1st october it means 6 months interest will be charged that is 240 rupees and for bali it is 2000 at the rate of 8% it is 160 rupees for the whole year and we have to charge here only for the period of 6 months it means 80 rupees so total amount will be 320. Interest on drawing will be now transferred to the profit and loss appropriation account. Interest on drawings account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. Another question we can see. Sita and Gita are the partners in a firm. Sita withdrew rupees 5000 and Gita withdrew rupees 3000 for the personal use. Interest is charged at the rate of 6%. Pass the journal entries for interest on drawing. We are given here the drawings and the rate, but rate is given without per annum. If that per annum word is not given in the question, it means we have to charge interest for the whole year. Sita's capital account debit, Gita's capital account debit to interest on drawing. This is the journal entry for charging interest and then interest on drawings account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. See 6% of rupees 5000 that is 300 rupees and then 6% of rupees 3000 that is 180. So here we will have to charge the interest for the whole year 480 rupees. Hina and Seema are the partners in a firm. On 1st January 2020 Hina withdrew rupees 15,000 for the personal use. Interest on drawing is charged at the rate of 8% per annum. Pass the journal entries for interest on drawing. You can see here that Hina's capital account debit to interest on drawing rupees 300. She has withdrawn rupees 15,000 for the personal use on 1st January. We have to charge interest here at the rate of 8% per annum. She has withdrawn the money on 1st January 2020. 8% of 15,000 rupees that is 1200 and then it will be charged for the period of 3 months that is 300 rupees. So Hina's capital account debit to interest on drawing and interest on drawings account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. In this question we are given Hemant and Jayant are the partners in a firm. Hemant withdrew rupees 500 at the beginning of every month. During the year ending on 31st of March 2020, interest on drawing is charged at the rate of 6% per annum. Pass the journal entries for the interest on drawing. First see the journal entries which are passed. Hammond's capital account debit to interest on drawings account and then interest on drawings account debit to profit and loss appropriation account. We have to charge here interest at the rate of 6%. Per annum, we are given here that he has withdrawn rupees 500 at the beginning of every month. So we'll have to calculate here the average month. Let's see the calculation here. He withdrew at the beginning of every month. It means the first drawing he would have made on 1st April and the last drawing he would have made on 1st March. Accounting year starts from 1st April and ends on 31st of March. So he has withdrawn rupees 500 at the beginning of each month. It means every month he has withdrawn on first. First drawing was made on 1st April and the last drawing would have been made on 31st of March. Every month he is withdrawing at the beginning. It means the interest will be charged on average basis. When he has withdrawn the first amount, he used that amount for the period of 12 months and last drawing when he made 
on 1st March, he used that till 31st of March. It means for a period of one month. So here, time left after first drawing, 12 months and time left after last drawing, that is one month. So 12 plus 1, 13, 13 divided by 2, that is 6.5 months. So this is the average months what we have to calculate here. Now interest on drawing will be calculated as 500 into 12 that is 6000 at the rate of 6%. Interest will be calculated here for a period of 6.5 months. So this amount will be 195 rupees. You can see here that we had written 195 rupees. We can see another example here. J and K are the partners in a firm. Interest on drawing is charged at the rate of 6% per annum. J withdrew the following amounts on different dates. Calculate the interest on drawings. On 1st June 2019, he withdrew rupees 3000. On 30th September 2019, he withdrew rupees 4000. On 1st December 2019, he withdrew rupees 7500. And on 31st of January 2020, he withdrew rupees 8000. We will have to use here the product method because the different amounts are withdrawn on different dates. He withdrew the first amount on 1st June, rupees 3000. 30th September, rupees 4000. 1st December, rupees 7500. And on 31st of January 2020, that is 8000. We will have to multiply it with the months remained. So when he has withdrawn the first amount on 1st June, rupees 3000. So June to 31st of March 2020, it's 10 months. He withdrew the next amount on 30 September, that is 4000. So September 30, it means from October to 31st of March 2020, it is 6 months. Then 1st December, December to 31st of March, it is 4 months. And then 31st of January, it means 2 months. So amount of the drawing will be multiplied by the months remained till 31st of March 2020. 3000 into 10, 30,000. 4000 into 6, 24,000. 7500 into 4, 30,000. And 8000 into 2, 16,000. So these are the products which will be totaled at the end. That is 1 lakh rupee. Now interest on drawing. Total product into rate upon 100 into 1 by 12. Now total product is given as rupees 1 lakh. It will be multiplied by 6%. It means 6 by 100. And then interest will be charged for 1 month only. If you calculate 6% of 1 lakh rupee that is 6000. And 6000 will be multiplied by 1 by 12. That is 500 rupees. Total product is calculated as drawings is multiplied with the months remained. So here the product has been calculated.